The loss was week three against Green, uh, Greenville and lost a 31 game winning streak, but then they avenged it in the quarterfinals against Greenville. They'll get a first down on third and short to move the chains. Yeah, this is an Elizabethan offense. They run the ball about. Scott bluffs the pass, runs up the middle, and very close to first down yardage. The Wildcats trying to signal the gate of the game, and uh, they're coming right back at it. Roberts passed the 30 on this one. It was second down and four, and it looks like he's got first down yard. Rollins will throw this time. Gets it out into the flat. What a grab by Ken Russell. Still on his feet past the 40. Russell often is a decoy because teams know Rollins is going to run so much, but you can't sleep on him. He's a weapon. Yeah, how about the Rollins on the option. He'll pitch it. And it's Russell knocked out of bounds inside the 35. Boy, Rollins waited until the very last moment. Had perfect timing on the pitch. Cummings next to Scott. And it's Keyshawn Cummings up the middle with some daylight. What a cut at midfield. He's off to the races. And down to the 20-yard line. Keyshawn Cummings, nearly 1,000 rushing yards on the season. And a big play for quarter. Tullahoma trying to break the scoreless tie. Scott keeps it after the fake to Cummings. Scott to the end zone. Touchdown, Tullahoma. Ryan Scott. He had three rushing touchdowns last week in the semifinals. And now in the championship, he puts the Wildcats ahead 6-0. Well, he's been great in this run. Cam Baker comes in as one of the wide receivers. Rollins back to throw finds his man for a first down for the fighting Cyclones He connects with Rollins on a rollout looking He outlets he's got Orton again, and it's a first down Went back to the opposite They'll stay empty back to him, which has been great for them on this drive Rollins right up the gut has the first down Forward progress to the five for a gain of six when they only needed one. Rollins to throw to the end zone for a touchdown. Jake Roberts, his top target. Touchdown number 18 on the year for Roberts. Rollins finds him and it's seven to six as the fighting Cyclones are on the board. Yeah, and that was an outstanding drive capped off by the top. Handles a low snap. The ball hit from behind. It's loose. Tullahoma saying they've got it. And they do. The Wildcats knocked it away from Rollins and then fell on it to create the turnover. Another big play from the Tullahoma Wildcats defense they elect to do here to start the second half. Cummings in the backfield for Scott, who looks to throw. And the pass complete as he connects. Number four. Ryan Scott. Scott is to number seven. To they fake to Cummings. Screen it to Dixon. And pass the 40-yard line Scott for Jacob Dixon on his fifth six. catch of the day. Second down and one, and they move the chains. Scott back to throw to the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by the fighting Cyclones. Jake Roberts. Right place, right time on the goal line to pick it off. Roberts with his fourth interception of the season. Last Rollins in trouble, gets rid of it, the pass is complete, and it ends up as a first down for the fighting Cyclones. What a play by Rollins. As he was falling down, he connected with Dalton Mitchell. Yeah, just an unbelievable. They need 11 yards. Rollins throws, and a second effort, they've got the first down and more. Across midfield and near the 40-yard line. Rollins again getting out of traffic. 
and he connects with Teddy Orton. That's what we've seen. Play clock at five. Rollins surveys and gets wrapped up. The Wildcats stout on that play, and it brings up fourth down. Telehoma finally getting it done. Fourth quarter here in Chattanooga. Ryan Scott flushed out, throws on the run, it's complete. He finds Jacob Dixon for first down yardage. Yeah, we've got a four. Clock restarts. Scott finds Brody Melton, his tight end, right across midfield, bulldozing a couple of defenders. Big game for Melton of 21. Yeah, Melton's been big in this pass. Important linebacker for this Elizabethan team. He's the guy who got a hand on it. Now Scott running up the middle, back across the original line of scrimmage. It was third. Both teams have all their timeouts. Scott out into the flat to Cummings, inside the 10 with a dive. They'll mark him out at the 10 before the lunge. That was a dangerous pass that the Cyclones almost took the other way for six. That was a real dangerous pass. Under center, pushes forward, leaning for the goal line. Wildcats saying touchdown, no indication yet. Fighting Cyclones are saying that they held firm. They're saying he was short. He was short. Tullahoma did not get there. Inches away from the goal line. Look how close that is right there. When you see both line judges on each side, when they're running in and they're kind of looking at each other and there's no signal, you know you probably didn't get it punched in. And I'm going to tell you where that football is right there. I think our officiating crew was right on top of it. Timeout left. Scott. Up the gut, across midfield, still on his feet, inside the 45-yard line. Now the clock will stop because of the first down. A chance to win a title on this play. Ryan Scott trying to roll out. He's in trouble. He flips it back. The play is still alive to the 30, inside the 20, and... Finally wrapped out of bounds. Chris Usselton was trying to pull off a miracle. He got close, but we're going to overtime. No flags on the play. That'll do it for four quarters, and nothing is decided. The 4A Blue Cross Bowl has another chapter. We'll have it for you next. Changes from there. Here's our referee, Joshua McWhorter. Got it. If you win, you get the choice of offense, defense, or whatever side of the field you want to play on. Got it? So, Oklahoma, since you're visitors, you will call the toss. Same rules apply. Call it. I toss it, catch it, reveal it. Mr. Graham will retoss it. What would you like to call? Tails. Tails is the call. Tails is the call. It is a tail. You have one to toss. Defend first. Which side of the field would you like to play on? Sounds good. So, face your back. Face your back. Yep, you're going to defend over there. You're going to play on this. First and 10, Elizabethan. Captain, shake hands one more time. Let's go at it. So Tullahoma wins the toss, and they want to know what they need, so they'll go on defense and make the Fighting Cyclones take it first from the 10. First possession of overtime. Third and one. Rollins. He's in. Touchdown, Fighting Cyclones. Into the end zone, it's 13-7, Elizabethan. And that's... He hands it off to Keyshawn Cummings, who's inside the five, to the goal line with a dive, and a touchdown! Tullahoma has the answer. A 10-yard run for Keyshawn Cummings. And Tullahoma has a chance to retie the game. A nobody trashes Tennessee touchdown for the Tullahoma Wildcats. Well, how about Tullahoma just saying, hey, we'll just do this on first. Since Scott to the end zone, touchdown, Jacob Dixon. And in the second overtime on the first possession, Tullahoma takes the lead. 20 to 14 Wildcats, Scott to Dixon. And that's a no. Second down from the nine. Cade Russell in the backfield. Rollins to the end zone. Up for grabs. Picked off. Chris Usselton on the interception. 
And Tullahoma, for the first time in 100 years, has won a state championship. John Olive in his 29th year brought this team 14-0 to a championship game for the first time in their program's history and in a second over.